What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we have even more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks and rumors to discuss. That Pokemon Presents answered a lot of questions, but we have even more to answer. And of course, guys, if you like this type of content, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider supporting the channel by joining the Pan Fam by hitting that Join Channel Member button below. Now, let's start this video by talking about what Riddler Koo has gotten correct so far in his most recent riddles slash leaks. So he commissioned this photo on July 2nd, which is over a month ago, and definitely looks like someone we saw at today's Pokemon Presents has the same hairstyle uh, as a girl, and well, that's Pirin right here, who obviously is a descendant of Adamant from the uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus game. So he nailed that perfectly well. I don't know how we were supposed to guess that. Like there was really no way we could have guessed that in general, but you know, hey, he got one He got one right. So once again, Riller Koo knows what he's talking about. Now, and then he did this on June 1st, PS, PV, what's the next? So Paradox Suicune, Paradox Verizion, what's next? And then, well, we got the two new paradoxes today. So Riddler Koo nailed another one. I mean, to be fair, I think this was very easy to nail. And also, we'll, we will be getting a Paradox Entei for sure. And we'll be getting a Paradox Terrakion for sure in the second DLC. I also want to note that these Pokemon here will be in the second DLC. They're not going to be in Area Zero in the September 13th DLC. So we're going to have to wait till at, towards the end of the year to get the rest of the Paradox Pokemon. So we should be getting at the very least four more Paradox Pokemon added to Scarlet and Violet. We don't know if there's going to be any others, but wait, hopefully there are. That'll be really cool, but I wouldn't hold my breath for that. Now, Riddler Koo has been talking about this regional fake purple to green, an edible thing, and he posted the four images before, Weezing, Swalot, Drifloom, and Spiritomb. Now, one of the clues being an edible Pokemon, one of these would turn into like a regional fake and edible Pokemon, we have Diplin, and Diplin sort of fits because it is edible, but it's not a regional fake. It's an illusion of Applin, so it doesn't really fit there. It doesn't fit the purple to green at all it's really just an evolution because it is actually just is so that wouldn't solve this issue now riddler coup luckily says we didn't solve this yet but he does give us a nice hint help you rule out something reminder look at the question carefully and he rules out wheezing so the watermelon wheezing is officially dead it's over and now we're looking at swallow drift bloom or spirit tomb from here and he says, which or none of them? Purple to green, and it's edible. So I saw people in the comment section say below, Drifloon could become a green onion. That, that could make sense. It is onion-like. Spirit Tomb could be like a berry bush. You know, you could have like a bunch of like purple berries on a green bush, like invert the colors on it. That could be really cool. And to me, Swalot would be like a flan or like a gelatin. That would also work as well. So let me know in the comment section below, which one of these three do you think is gonna get the regional fake? It does seem like it will be a two stager, which sort of puts out spirit to him in my opinion. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment because Riddler Koo sort of tells us how many Pokemon are gonna be in each DLC. So to me, it's really down to Swalot and Drifloom. I'm still team Swalot. I still believe in that gelatin vibe right there. Now, another huge, riddle that Riddler Koo had for us on July 15th. He was talking about Black City and White Forest from the Unova games. Well, if you were paying attention to today's uh, Pokemon Presents, we got a massive connection to the Unova region, and that's going to be with our new Pokemon right down here, Archuladon. Archuladon, the evolved form of Duraludon, actually looks exactly like the Drifloom Bridge or whatever it's called. It's some bridge in the Unova region, and it's a skyscraper and he puts it right here. Riller Koo tweets this out. So this Pokemon represents Black City, but we have not seen the White Forest Pokemon yet. And this Pokemon is releasing in the second DLC. The so Archeldon is gonna have a counterpart in the second DLC. Now we don't know if this technically makes them version exclusives to both Scarlet and Violet, like which one's gonna go on which one. But just to put that out there, this is something we need to keep in mind that there is going to be another evolution of some sort of Pokemon 
that will be representing of White Forest. Now, because it was a, literally a skyscraper Pokemon, we have to think of what Pokemon could literally represent a tree. But we also got to think about it on a little bit of a deeper level too. Duraludon was a single stage Pokemon, no pre-evolution, no evolution. And it also had a uh, Gigantamax form, right? And a Gigantamax form was literally a, a skyscraper. So we sort of get some hints there on what the white counterpart could be for White Forest. And Rillerku actually tweeted this photo out as well. And it's like the hospital symbol. It's like the triage healing symbol, but it's two snakes. And it sort of reminds me of this tree. You see how like the tree is sort of twisted like a top in a way. I can see that like, you know, I can see like a twisted top type of tree right here. And it does have a snake on it, which is definitely incredibly interesting to me. And this also connects to Gower. So whatever this Pokemon, this white forest Pokemon is, is going to be connected to the Gower region. Now, there is one Pokemon that sort of really fits this perfectly well. Well, there is a snake in the Galar region. There is a, and the snake Pokemon in the Galar region does have a, a Gigantamax form. And it is also from Galar. And that Pokemon would be Sandaconda. Sandaconda would sort of fit this perfectly. I mean, we do have the Dynamax or Gigantamax form of it. And it is a like a spiraling top. And it is standing up. So maybe it gets an evolution and maybe becomes a ground grass type. And instead of like, you know, becoming just a top, it actually spirals around like a big tree, becomes part of the tree. I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit far fetched, but at the same time, looking at these clues right here, it needs a counterpart. And just thinking of things that are similar to Archlodon here. Sandaconda sort of fits the bill incredibly well. Now, another Pokemon I actually think could fit this well, doesn't come from the Galar region, but did have a Galar form, would be Snorlax. Snorlax has a, a Gigantamax form, and its Gigantamax form is the massive tree on its belly. Literally a tree. So what if there is a new Snorlax evolution? Snorlax is similar to Duraludon, was not in the base game of Scarlet and Violet, and is now being introduced with the DLC. And they both have Gigantamax forms, which will not be seen again outside of the Galar region. So maybe Snorlax will finally get an evolution. That could be really sick. I mean, of course, you know, Snorlax does have a pre-evo. So maybe that would like make it not count in this case. But I mean, those are my two options. I'm going to bet Sandaconda or Snorlax is going to get a new evolution for the White Forest connection for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC 2. Now, Riddler Koo... We've been talking about this Mightyena evolution, which I still think is going to lock in. He puts out another teaser. New clue. It's not revealed yet. And it's nighttime. It's There's detectives out here. Sort of like a costume party Halloween vibe. I'm still thinking Mightyena is going to get some sort of evolution here. Uh, I'm just not sure. Maybe it has to connect with Detective Pikachu again because this hint was with Detective Pikachu. So I'm not totally sure. But I'm still betting that we're going to be getting like a dark ghost or a dark fairy Mighty Anna evolution, which is going to be like complementary to like Obstagoon from Galar. But we're just going to have to wait and see for more information on that. Hopefully we'll get more soon. Now, Centro compiled this list, which I think is really helpful. So Riddler Koo tweeted out seven plus eight plus one. And we are thinking, OK, this is the amount of Pokemon each DLC is going to have. So Teal Mass is going to have seven new Pokemon. Ogre Pond, uh, Fezendipity, Monkadori. Okie dokie. And then we got Diplin. And then the Conversion Species and the Conversion Species Evo. And we're thinking this is, like I said, either like the Swalot Regional Fake or the uh, the Drifloom Regional Fake. And that's going to be all the Pokemon for Teal Mass that are brand new. Then Indigo Is is going to have eight Pokemon. And I think this it sounds really good to me, too. Carapagos, we know it's only one Pokemon. is a form before. So we know it doesn't have a pre Evo. Raging Bolt and Iron Crown, they got announced. Then we know there's going to be a Paradox Entei. We know there's going to be a Paradox Terrakion for sure. And we already got the announcement of Archlodon. So there's going to be two more Pokemon that are left. And we know there's going to be a new cross-gen evolution, as we just talked about it, which is probably going to be the Mightyena evolution. And the White Forest counterparts are the two locks here. And then there's one extra, which I do think is going to be with a mythical Pokemon. Pretty much locks it all in, all of the Pokemon we're going to be getting. I do wish we were getting more Paradox Pokemon, but if this is true, 
it makes sense to me i mean they don't really add too many new pokemon dlc and if you actually compare it to sword and shields dlc there's a lot more new pokemon that they've added in total than they did with the sword and shield dlc too so i mean it's pretty decent i wish it was a little bit more though but i'm a sucker for new pokemon we had a brief glimpse in the trailer of someone who appears to be the champion of the blueberry league can we figure out who it is well, looking at this person's outfit here, right? We can see they're wearing like a jacket with a red shirt underneath. There's one character in the trailer who's wearing a jacket, and that seems to be Kieran, right? Kieran seems to be wearing the same jacket right here. I mean, it could be them. We'll have to see, but it seems like Kieran, who's like the sort of like the dopey kid, could actually be the champion of the Blueberry Academy League. And that is all the leaks and riddles we have for you today. Let me know in the comment section below what Pokemon you are most excited to see, whether from the ones revealed or whether the ones we talked about riddled or rumored today in this video. Let me know below. Of course, guys, if you like this type of content, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a great one.